In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a template and a free audio program to add your audio tag or producer tag to any of your beats in under 60 seconds. Creating this template is gonna save you time and make protecting your beats much easier. HipHopMakers.com Hey music creators, I'm Mark at HipHopMakers.com, a website that's dedicated to helping music creators succeed. If you're a music producer selling beats online or background music, adding audio tags to your tracks is very important to help protect your music. Beats can easily be ripped from YouTube, SoundCloud, and pretty much be recorded from any computer or mobile device. So to help protect your beats, you should be adding audio tags to all of your beats before you upload them online. So first, let's start with what's a producer tag or audio tag? A producer tag or audio tag is the audio snippet that you hear a lot of music producers add to their beats to help identify who made the beat. Okay. Sometimes the audio tag could be a phrase or it could be a sound effect. Here are a couple of examples. Maybach music. Mike Will. Mike Will. Producer tags are also used by music producers who are selling beats online where they add the audio snippet multiple times to help protect the beat from being used. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Audacity. Audacity is a free open source audio editor program for Windows, Mac, and Linux computers. You can find a link in the video description below. You should download and install the program if you don't have an audio editor. But if you already have an audio editor program or another music software, you could pretty much follow the same steps. So I already have Audacity installed. To follow along with this tutorial, you should already have a producer tag and a beat that you want to add an audio tag to. If you don't have an audio tag already, you can do what I did and hire someone to record the audio for you. I used the website Fiber and searched for audio tags slash DJ tags and found a woman vocalist to say my website's name and it cost around $10. The woman provided an audio file and then I added some sound effects to it. And this is what I ended up with. Hiphopmakers.com I use this audio tag for my YouTube videos and for free sample packs I give out. Once again, I wanted a woman voice to say my website's name and I paid around $10 for her to record it. You can find a link in the video description below. If you do use a website like Fiverr, they usually charge by the phrase, so I suggest that you request a long sentence where you can try to get the most out of it, something where you could chop it up. Like I got the woman to record visit hiphopmakers.com, so I could chop off hiphopmakers.com at the end of the audio if I wanted to. So let's get started with the template. First, we're gonna create an audio tag template to reuse with your beats. So I'm gonna open up Audacity, which will create a new file. I'm gonna drag my audio tag into Audacity. So now you need to decide how often you want your audio tag to repeat. Is it every 30 seconds, every 45 seconds, every minute? You need to decide what's best for you. You want it to play enough to where it protects your beat, but not too much to where it messes up the listening experience. For this tutorial, I'm gonna have it play every 30 seconds. So in Audacity, I'm going to click the very end of the track. In the top menu, I'm going to click Generate. I'm going to click Silence. Where you see the time, enter in the number you want. I'm going to click the one, and on my keyboard, I'm going to click three, zero, 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 which is 30 seconds. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click right here to zoom out. And you can see that 30 seconds was added. What we want to do now is repeat the audio tag multiple times. I'm going to click into the sound wave. In the top menu, I'm going to click select and click all. In the top menu under edit, I'm going to click copy. I'm going to deselect the sound wave. I'm going to click at the end of the sound wave and click paste on my keyboard. I'm going to click the end again, paste. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to paste it a couple of times. That's about three minutes right there. I'm gonna go to select again, select all, select copy, click the end of the track and paste again. I'm gonna zoom out. So right here, I have the audio snippet playing for about six minutes. So we're almost done with this template, but I wanna add some silence to the start of this audio track so the audio tag doesn't play over the intro. I'm gonna scroll to the very start. I'm gonna click the start. In the top menu, I'm gonna click generate. I'm gonna click silence. And here you wanna decide how much silence you want before the first audio tag plays. 
I'm gonna update this to 20 seconds and I'm going to click OK. So 20 seconds has been added to the start of this audio file. So now let's save our template. In the top menu, I'm gonna click File and click Save Project. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna name the file template-custom-audio-tags. I'm gonna click Save. So how do you use a template? I'm gonna close Audacity. And let's say you have a beat that you need to add your audio tags to. What you would do is that you would open up your new template, drag your beat into Audacity. You could adjust the volume of the audio tag here. And let's say that your beat isn't six minutes. You wanna delete everything that isn't needed. So I would click right here, click delete. And you would click file, click export, and export to MP3. Name the beat and click save. Click OK. Fill out the meta tags if you like. Click OK. And now the MP3 with your audio tags will now be exported. Here's a preview of the MP3. Hiphopmakers.com. And then you can pretty much close Audacity. Don't save it because this is your reusable template. So there you go. That's how you can pretty much add audio tags to any of your beats pretty fast. You can pretty much follow these steps in any music software. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to get notified on future content. Protect your beats and thanks for watching.